morning. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talks on Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Today's topic, what is the purpose of government? What is the purpose of government? Well, that answer is an easy one. The purpose of government is to protect the rights of the people of the United States of America under the Constitution. Here's the problem. Government over the past 50 years has become more intrusive. One of the things that I do not like about government, particularly the liberal policies that have been passed through government, is that we have to pay for a health care bill that doesn't work. And what I mean it doesn't work We have working citizens like myself who have to pay higher premiums to take care of individuals who aren't insured. We have policies such as net neutrality. We have the left in this country that talks freedom of speech, but they want to silence the freedom of speech of the right. But, but under the First Amendment, aren't we supposed to have Free speech. The answer to that is free speech doesn't exist. Because if you are on the right side of the political spectrum, you're going to be labeled as a homophobe, bigot, racist, misogynist. All of the adjectives and ad hominem attacks are going to be brought up against you. And that's just propaganda or shaming tactic used to silence you. We have programs like the school lunch program, public schools. We've been funding public schools forever, it seems like. And the public school system, particularly in the urban areas, they don't work. So if the purpose of government is to protect the citizens, then why is the government so intrusive? The question is simple. Government wants to rule every aspect of our lives because they enjoy the power. You see, when you have an economy run by the bureaucrats, it keeps every citizen in the third world state. And what I mean, when you have programs that taxpayers are forced to pay into to help people who don't have access to to a job or access to education like the working person does. What he intent is good, but at the end of the day, you have a stagnated society because there's no growth and there really is no money coming in because if you tax the wealthiest 1, 5, or 10%, 90% tax rate, they're going to move their money offshore. The government cannot run the economy. When it comes to media, the government wants to censor free speech from the right, but not from the left. You, you always hear something going on about Fox News. What well, a reason why? Because Fox News is a private entity, but Fox News, for the most part, doesn't go along with the narrative that the alphabet channels put out. I'm talking about CNN, ABC, MSNBC. But also, we have programs such as the student loan or the financial aid system for individuals who go to college. Is that working? Certainly, it does work. But what happens when you get out of college particularly if you major in something that isn't marketable, you're going to have a lot of debt. And what does that mean? You don't get a good return on investment. Let me plug the figures in for you and make it really easy. If I pay $250,000 a year, or correction, if I pay $250,000 for four years of college and I come out 
Am I going to get a $250,000 job? Absolutely not. In order to work up to $250,000 a year, I'm going to have to spend a long time working at one company, and that's if I get promotions. Now, when it comes to a job, today you can go from one job to another after about three or four years of working for a company. So on your resume, it's going to look like you have skipped around. That's acceptable because that's the only way you're going to get a raise and promotions. But if I go to school and it costs $250,000, and that depends on the school, if you're going to Harvard, if you're going to Yale, you're going to pay an exorbitant amount of money. But if I go to a regular state school, and some of those schools are expensive as well, I'm going to pay maybe half that. But even if I pay, uh, let's say, $120,000 for four years, $30,000 a year to go to a college is very expensive. Now, I'm going to get in the video, and I'm going to tell you how to keep that cost down when I get into my education series. But when you have government trying to philander their way into our lives, it alleviates free speech. Programs such as welfare, they have a good intent, but there's no oversight of where the money is going. It's just like child support. Where's the money going? See, one of the problems with the government is we have allowed illegal immigrants to come in and we put them on our government programs, and that just drains the system because we're adding more and more people to the programs, but we don't have enough taxpayers to continue to fund these programs. Therefore, you have to raise the taxes on the working people. Again, let's look at the health care bill. That's government run with the exchanges. The intent is good, and it might be helping somebody. But there are still a few people who don't have health insurance. Now, that being said, should the government be allowed to utilize the IRS to tax individuals who don't have health care? The Constitution doesn't say anybody has to have health care. But the government, particularly this last administration, wanted to force the hand to have everybody be on the health care plan. Now, if the health care plan was so good, how come the Congress and the Senate and even the President aren't on the same plan? How come the Congress and the Senate and the President aren't on the same Social Security plan? In fact, if you utilize Social Security, there used to be a lockbox. That's what former Vice President Al Gore said. But I believe these politicians have tapped into Social Security. What you all have to understand when it comes to government, government keeps you in slavery. This is why individuals are working two and three jobs. The whole catch to making it in this society is you have to educate yourself. See, the government programs are good intent, but the problem with the government programs and the problem with the government period. The government is too intrusive. We're supposed to have liberty through laws. However, it seems like the people who get away with everything are the citizens who aren't law-abiding. I mean, I've seen individuals who murdered people, and they didn't get that much time. It's happened. When you have government in your lives all the time that also dissuades people from going to work because if you have a job and you work 40 hours a week and you're paid a certain wage and you have payroll taxes state federal taxes Medicaid taxes, when you have all these taxes coming out of your paycheck versus living on a system, 
and you have no taxes coming out because you don't pay taxes, you're getting free money from the government, you're getting all the benefits to keep you alive, well, what are you going to choose? You're going to choose the welfare system. And that's what the government isn't understanding. The government encourages individuals to stay on the system. If you don't believe me, look how many more people were added to the food stamp roll when Obama was president. Look how many people were unemployed. I mean, I remember when you got on unemployment, you could only be on unemployment for three months. It went to six months, and then it went to 99 weeks, which is almost two years. And when you go and vote, again, I always get into politics, liberal versus conservative. Well, for the most part, the liberals are the ones who have led the narrative in this country for 50 years. And if you look at it, their policies don't work. Because the way you strap an economy is, you don't allow wages to go up, and you raise the prices of cost and goods, so you have to work two and three jobs. And then you utilize the propaganda of the media, which we're supposed to have three branches of government. I believe the media is just an assistant branch to the Democratic Party. So we can say that's a fourth branch of government because the media is for higher taxes, socialism, communism, because the media, for the most part, reports with a left-wing propaganda. Now, I'm not saying everybody on the right is correct either, because we have some extreme Christians. If the government continues to be in our lives, we're going to go down a slippery road, and we're going to have civil wars within our own country. The government's job is to protect and serve. It's not to be intrusive in every aspect of our lives. And let me tell you this, with the abortion, now I'm not for abortion, but if you are pro-choice, it is a woman's body, and the government should not be involved in what she does with her child. Now, abortion should be the last resort. You should utilize putting the baby up for adoption if you can't support it. And with a lot of these government programs, you've had fraud. You've had politicians misuse per diem. Remember there was a politician in Pennsylvania he went to my school. I graduated from Temple University. He was an alumni there as well. His name was Vince Fumo. Well, he utilized the per diem and illegal campaign funds to fund his own lifestyle. And what did he get? He only got 48 months in jail. I would have gotten a heck of a lot more if I had committed the same crime. The problem with the government is that there basically isn't any oversight for individuals who are on the system or individuals who are legislating the system. And I'm talking about, i.e., the politicians and the citizens who are on the programs. What the government needs to do is be more accountable for their actions. So we need more watchdogs who will watch over the government. Now, I do applaud Fox News for being a watchdog. Now, everything that Fox presents, I don't agree with either. However, it is more objective than all the other news sources. And when you have the government, and maybe Donald Trump will turn it around, because we don't need more government, we need less government. Government, if it holds its right place, we can function as a society. The United States functioned up until the 1930s without social programs. Now, I believe that these programs were implemented so there'd be more people on the government role. In other words, you have more social workers, 
it creates more jobs. But here's the problem with the government as well. The government is not in the business to make money. It should not be in the business to make money. But it does make money. When you pay your taxes, and they come out of your paycheck, that money just sits there. It's like a savings. And if you get a refund, that means they're taking too much out of your paycheck. The government has their eyes in everything that you do. Your medical records, your cameras on the street to see what you're doing. And we keep voting for more and more big government. We're not going to have our freedom. And this country was founded on freedom through the Constitution. So I'm urging everybody. When it comes to what we have now, we have a new administration. Give President Trump a chance. And this is not a video endorsing President Trump. Obama didn't do his job for everybody. He did do a job for some people. And I'm not saying everything was Obama's fault either, because basically, again, if we're going to have government, why doesn't government get in the business of setting term limits for Congress people and senators? See, if you had term limits, that would cut out a lot of waste and fraud as well. Because these politicians appropriate funds incorrectly. There's always money missing. I remember the city of Baltimore back in 2004 had $58 million missing. Now, that wasn't on the federal level, but that was on a state level. And because of that, that really cost, at that time, Republican Governor of Maryland, Bob Ehrlich, his job, because after that, Democratic Mayor of Baltimore City at that time was Martin O'Malley. He became the governor for two years, or he became the governor for eight years, I believe, until he tried to run for president last year. If we allow the same type of politicians who have been benefiting off the system for well over 100 years to continue to gerrymander the districts to stay in power, there's not going to be any change. That's the problem. When you hear a politician, I'm going in on the politicians right now because they're the ones who are making the laws along with the lobbyist groups. There is a lot of money in politics. And to tell you the real truth, everybody who's benefiting off of what goes into Washington has a nice lifestyle for themselves and they don't want to see change. This is why government wants to become more intrusive. The more power the government has, the more money they make. Because at the end of the day, it's about the money. If you look on your state level, your municipal level, the money is very, very temptational. And you ever heard this old saying? Money will turn an honest man evil. It does. You have a lot of corruption in government. But the government makes the laws for average everyday citizens, but it just seems the laws don't apply to them. That's the problem, too. Because we don't have an accountability system for the government, the government does whatever they want to do because they are the government. That's the big problem. And we keep on going down this road. We're going to end up a country like a Cuba, a China. Because under a dictatorship, and I have to tell all you lefties out here who are marching around talking about free speech, if you go over to these other countries and try that same free speech, such as the feminist marches over in the Middle East, you will not be coming back. Because they have a different tone about people than we do. You have the right here, but you have to understand the people on the left in this country 
want that kind of government, but they've never lived in that kind of government. I've been over to those countries. Those countries are poor. The poverty there makes the poverty here look like uh, your, your Section 8 people. Their houses look like palaces over here compared to what I've seen over in the Middle East. And this is another thing. If you're going to college, you need to take a government and politics course to understand government. Everybody should understand government, how the voting system works, the electoral college. You should know your own politicians in your state because when you vote, you should vote for politicians who are not bureaucrats. Of course, every policy that is going to come down through the state, the federal, or the municipality is going to be by some bureaucrat. Now, you heard that old saying, the lesser of two evils. That's what you got during this election. But if you understand the Constitution... And you understand how government works and you vote properly, we don't have to worry about big government running our country. Because again, we can't have a country full of government workers, but poor workers in the private sector who are getting taxed at high rates to pay the government workers. Again, that's socialism, redistribution of wealth. The policy doesn't work. So at the end of the day, the election is over. We as American people have to understand what type of country we want. Do we want more government or do we want less government? Tell me what you think. And that's my commentary for today's edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show for Sunday, January 29th, 2017. You can tune in to the 401 Talk Zone radio show every Monday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call in number is 215-383-5785. And if you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Zone radio show so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective on this channel. I don't engage in debates, controversial issues, or emotional topics, nor do I participate in drama and unnecessary bickering. My channel is to educate an audience on how to make decisions to survive the challenges of the real world. So I'm giving you information on business, education, careers, and politics. You're going to get news that you can use, news that you don't hear in the mainstream media because I research it and I give you the information for free. So I'm not taking donations on this channel. I just like to produce content to help educate folks, bring their knowledge of conscience up because the public school system hasn't done it. So I keep everything realistic but positive. And if you have a business or a topic, that you would like for me to discuss on Blog Talk Radio or YouTube, you can email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, you can leave it in the comment section under the video. Make sure that your comments are pithy, no bloviating, petty fogging, or filibustering, if you wish to opine. That's it for this video. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. Remember, Please be gentle and respectful to each other and have a wonderful and blessed day.